Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor tutorial, I'm going to show you an easy way to add a looping marquee effect like this to your website. I'm going to show you how you can animate the text in both directions like this. So going from right to left and then down here from left to right. Let's just jump into the back end and show you how easy it is to set up. Here we are on the back end of that page and I already have the elements in here, but I'm going to show you all the code you need to add to make this work. So to pull this off, what I did is I have two different heading widgets. As you can see, I just have this heading widget right here and then this one right here with just a color background. Um, I have it where it just says the same thing, Wiki Design, uh, three different times. Let's jump into the one with the white background first. Once you have your title that you want to display right here, uh, what I recommend in this case, I'm going to be using an H1 tag, but you can always change it to a different tag if you need right here. Then what you need to do is give it a unique uh, CSS class. So in this case, I'm just calling it marquee. Now what we need to do is add a little bit of JavaScript and then right here I have a blank HTML widget. So this is actually gonna be pulled off using JavaScript and not so much using CSS. But let's go ahead and add the CSS that we do need first. So in this case, I do have Elementor Pro, so I'm just gonna click on the settings cog right here, go to advanced. And I'm just going to drop in this right here. So this is just showing overflow hidden. We need to make sure that it's being displayed as a flex. And then we're going to do it where there's no wrap on the H1. So if you did use a different tag instead of H1, you could change that right here. So it'd be like H2 or whatever it may be. Now let's just go ahead and add some JavaScript. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. So what you need to do is drop an HTML widget. Um, I recommend right above it, just so you know that this is all kind of linked in here. Because as you can see, I have it all in one container. I have the one container, HTML widget, and the two headings. So all you need to do is just drop in this code right here, and nothing's gonna animate on the back end. This is all gonna be populated once you hit update and you view it on the front end. And the only thing that you really need to be concerned about is uh, these two things right here you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the CSS class is what you call this heading right here. So in this case, it's just marquee. And then this right here where it says 0.5, this is gonna be the speed. So right now, uh, when you have the code and you just paste it in, it's gonna be 0.5. But if you want it to go faster, you could do like two or three or whatever it may be. If you want it to be slower, you can do like 0.1. So let's go ahead, hit update and show you how this looks on the front end. So here we are on the front end of that page. And as you can see, we just have the top one animating from right animating over to the left. And the good news is, is this is always just gonna loop, you know, infinite, so it's like an infinite loop. Now, let me go ahead and show you that if you don't have a neck, enough content in here, it's not gonna work correctly. So let me go ahead and just do one wiki design, and I'm gonna show you what happens. So what you need to do is make sure that your heading is big enough that it's gonna, you know, fill up the whole width for this to work correctly. So let me show you what I mean. So I took out the other wiki designs, so now you can see how the effect is working. What it's doing is it's basically just duplicating the width of the original child container and just adding it once it gets to the end. So as you can see, if there isn't enough text, it's gonna look really weird. So that's why I recommend just going in here and adding another wiki design and then hit update. So depending on your use case, you may need to add it two times, maybe three. So I think in this case, I can get away with just doing it once. So you can see right here, it just says wiki design and that's good to go. And actually, you know, you see right here, that's why I recommend kind of waiting it for it to loop. So I did need to have a third one. So let's go ahead and add another wiki design. And then if you run into a situation where it's not breaking correctly, you can add this little bit of HTML and this is just giving it like a non break space. And so you can just hit update and now you're going to notice that it's going to loop correctly. So that's why I recommend going ahead and just kind of watching it a few times, making sure it doesn't have any weird gaps or anything like that. And it looks like we're good to go here. And that's it. That's how you can animate from the right to the left. And of course you could do all of your regular styling inside of here. So I made sure in this case it was like five EMs. So depending on how big this is, so if you have the text really, really large, you might get away with just having one wiki design in the title rather than the three. So it's always gonna depend on if it's gonna fill up enough space. So now I'm gonna jump into how you can add the same effect but go in the opposite direction. So just like the very first one, I have it where it's repeating three times and I have this non break space right here. And in this case, if you're gonna have this effect, like I have it where it's on the same page, you need to call it a different CSS class. 
So in this case, I'm just going to call it marquee two. Now I'm going to drop in the CSS and the JavaScript you need to make sure that this works the other way around. So very similar to the very first one, you're just going to change out uh, marquee two. Everything else is exactly the same. Now let me jump into the JavaScript and show you how to paste that in. So same way, you could just go underneath your existing one, or if you want to add another HTML widget, you know, whichever way you want to go. So now what you can do is drop in this code and you can see right here, I did have to change out where it says marquee two. You just need to change that to be two here. And then right down here, you're going to want to make sure that it says marquee two and then your CSS class is marquee two. So if you don't have a second one like this, you don't need to worry about adding a two. So you can call it marquee and just make sure that you update anywhere it says marquee within this code right here. And that's it. It's very much just like the first one. We hit update and now when we go to the page, they're both gonna be animating correctly. So let me get rid of this. So as you can see right here, it's animating right to left and then this one's from left to right. And that's it for this elementary tutorial on how to add a looping marquee effect to your website. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.